Alright guys, uh, I'm not even going to read that, I'm just going to explain it as I'm doing things here. Um, this will be my second attempt at trying to record this episode here. Um, this is Goods 404 Challenge, uh, as the title suggests. Um, the This map is a capture, the, er, complete the monument map, man, every time. Every time I, I see CTM, I think capture the monument, because I, I, well, I think capture the flag, like CTF, so, I don't know, it was happening. Um, so, the reason this is the second time that I'm trying to record this is because I had tried once, and you know how it's raining right now? Well, uh, this rain will turn into a thunderstorm very quickly, which means mobs will spawn everywhere. So... That makes things a little rough for me. Um, you know what? I only need that. Uh, because I I wasn't I died several times and the creepers blew up everything that I had. I had gathered everything here except for there's some dirt in that water over there. Uh, and they destroyed everything. Like I died in this water trying to grab this dirt. And, uh, they, then a creeper came in the water and got shot by a skeleton and blew it up. So there was no hope for me to get it back. And, uh, I was like, nope. We're not doing that right now. <laughs> so I, um, closed it, reloaded the map. And now that I redo now that I know that it's going to turn into a thunderstorm, I'm going to move quickly. <laughs> because I had no weapons when the mob started spawning and uh... yeah so um... this map is supposed to be like the 404 ch the original 404 challenge um, which if you don't know what that is I will be explaining that in a minute um, it is a cap it complete the oh my god it is, it is a complete the monument map, which means that there are areas down there that we will be going to to get wool and whatever and put it on the victory monument. Um, or I say victory monument, it may be called something else here, but, you know, nonetheless it is a victory monument. Um, I'm leaving those leaves there to break down on their own so that hopefully I'll get some uh, saplings out of there because I'm going to need as many as I can get. I don't know what will be down that gravel right there. There's a hole underneath it. Um, or at least I assume there's a hole underneath it, or it would be terrible 404 map. The original 404 challenge was a, um, it was, there was this world where if you typed the seed in as, uh, 404, excuse me, you would get a world that was, um, that right next to the spawn there was this area, there, there was this big hunk of gravel. Oh, jeez, the lightning started. Which means the mobs are probably already spawning. There's a creeper over there. Um, this entire area here is surrounded by half slabs. Um, <clears throat> like, beyond the... There's a little square around us. And then around that square, <clears throat> past that, is all half slabs. So, um... Mobs won't spawn out there, so I guess we can run out there if we want to, if we're uh, in trouble. But I think the point of that was to keep mobs from spawning out there, but it doesn't do a very good job of keeping mobs from spawning, because they still spawn right, right next to us. Oh, I'm drowning. That surprised me. Okay, lag a little bit. Uh, I really don't need that right now. Okay, let's eat while we're coming up. See, look, there's creepers and stuff everywhere. Grab this chest. There's a watch inside of it. Nothing spectacular. Grab another sapling or two. And now we're heading on down. Uh, there's some shoutouts to people and stuff on there from Gude. Who did make the map. And, oh dear... 
now that we are down here, we are not supposed to go back up. And we were supposed to go down here by the end of the first day. But we don't have much choice right now because, uh... Because, whoa! <laughs> if we, uh... Stay up there, we will die. So... That's cool. Um... So, yeah. And that's that's kind of the point of the 404 thing. You know, it's like, well... If I stay here, I'm going to die, so let's go down the deep hole and survive as long as possible. And that was the original challenge, was to survive as long as possible. Um, however, this map is... I mean, while it could probably also be played like that, I believe the main purpose of this map is to complete the monument. As the title suggests. The title of the map, that is. Oh, let's hop over here. Also, on the way down, I'm gathering a bunch of blocks, because this is a survival thing, and, uh, and lag is number one part of survival stuff. I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> uh, let's let's go this way. Oh, and I did read the other day that Vex... or I didn't read it. Uh, he said it in one of his developer commentary videos. He, he balances his maps around normal mode, and I play on hard mode, so I am kind of playing harder than I have to. Uh, but that's okay, because, I mean, we're cool. We can do challenges. Get back. You're just a mean bully. That's what you are. Okay. No need to take unnecessary risks. Um, because they could be fatal. And uh, I am supposed to set my spawn point as soon as possible down here. Because I'm not supposed to come back up to the surface. That includes um, spawning on the surface. You know? No, oh, buddy, just come back down here. Come on. Good thing we made two picks. I was hoping to get a uh, a wool from or string, I should say. Nope. Oh boy. Wow. Blocking reduced most of the damage there. Oh, victory monument. Ah, get back. Okay, as soon as I stop lagging here, I think it's the rain that's making me lag so much. Um, ooh, stone. I mean, one cobblestone not going to help us so much. But it's useful nonetheless. Nope, get back. Here is where you place blocks. All right. Um, if you haven't watched there, which I, this is actually interesting because it's it's different than normal. You know, the normal victory monument, you've got the one row, and the signs are... So, oh, wool monument, of course, what was I thinking? Any signs back here? No? This is good, and I've been watching a bunch of his videos lately, so hopefully I'll... What's that? That doesn't look normal. You're not very bright, are you? No, uh... Uh, uh, blah, blah. I don't know. Let's, uh... Let's pillar on up there. Nothing. Alright. Whoa. That was really strange. Uh, let's, let's leave it there. Just in case there's something weird about it that I just don't see right now. Um, nothing can spawn there because it's not two blocks high. So. That's cool. Um, let's build back some stairs here. Oh, there's more stone around here. I'm be gonna be careful and check, look for, uh, silverfish spawners, because I don't know how mean, how mean Good is gonna be, but, uh, if he's anything like Vex, then this won't even be easy from the start. Gotta be careful about stuff like that. Did I put that there? Yeah, I must have. Oh, well, it'll light up the area. Okay, I would go that way first if I were you. I'm assuming you mean once you're inside. Maybe after you find the first four wool. Fair enough. Hey, buddies! What's up? Okay, so we do have some saplings in there, so we don't need to worry about that. Ooh, stuff! 
Wood, glass panes, mushrooms. Oh, we need to take those back to the Victory Monument and uh, set up a little home there where we can grow stuff and whatever. A stick, of course. Why not? This will be useful. I'll take this. Um, I'll take those. Buckets will be incredibly useful. Cake, just because. Um, don't really need bookshelves. Don't really need those. I will take th these these and that and I don't have any more space in my inventory it's not cool um, all right oh boy those skeletons down there are freaking me out Ah! No! Okay, how much stone do I have? Five. It's not very much. Um, I need more wool. I don't have any wool. <laughs> that, that kind of doesn't help my needing wool. Um, how many bones do I have? Two. Awesome. That should be enough to... Uh, Grow some mushrooms. If I would just stop lagging. Um, where'd my dirt go? Oh, it's already in my bar. Okay, so, well, first of all, I want to grow a tree. And we've got an iron axe, so let's just chop that down. And now we have some more, um, stuff. <laughs> some more wood to build with and let's uh... get another sapling so, oh! I wanted this to be there it's gotta be symmetrical of course and it's kinda making like a face in the ground at least I think it looks like a face, you got two eyes and like ears or something, I don't even know guys ignore me that made no sense whatsoever we do have melon seeds here, actually I'm not going to do that right now Um. But we do have melon seeds, so that's cool. Uh, I now have enough wood to make some... Whoa, leg. Um, oh, we need to seal that up. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> I have enough wood to make some bowls. That's what I was going for. Um, so we can make mushroom soup. Mushroom stew. I'm sorry. Alrighty. Um, I know, I, or at least I believe using an axe on mushroom blocks... Well, I'm surprised it, it grew there, because it's touching the wall. I thought it didn't do that. Uh, I believe chopping down mushrooms with an axe damages the axe really quickly, but it also gets you mushrooms really quickly. And, uh... I don't know. I can always just beat stuff down with my fist, but this is going to make it so much faster. For right now, at least. So... Alright, what are we doing here? Um, we have a bunch of sandstone here. First things first, I'm going to seal off up here. Because this area right here is potentially dangerous and life-threatening. And I don't like that so much. So, oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. I hate it when they just sit there and look all docile and then jump murderously at you. All we need to do is make sure that no mobs can come in. So, and I want it to look all nice with sandstone. So, it's a good thing we grabbed a bunch. And, oh, okay, okay. I, s I hear you, I hear you. No need to get violent. Oh well. At least they're giving me um, string so I can make a bed at some point. Okay, now let's see which part of this lines up with down there. Okay. This block right here is the center. Okay, so we're going to want our 
our little underground passageway here because that's what we're going to be doing. Um, because uh, oh, you know, what? let's let's grab a bucket here and run around here and grab some lava, which is only one deep. So let's try not to use too much of it. There's stone up there. I need like every bit of stone I can get, so we will be going up there and grabbing that right now. What I'm trying to do is make a furnace, because if I can make a furnace, then I can make an indefinite amount of, um... T get away from me! Ow! That hurt. Meanie face. Um... If I can get a furnace... Oh, there's actually... St oh, no, that's not stone. That's just... that. Wow, that looks really weird. Uh, that is actually... Sandstone up there. It just looks a lot like stone. But yeah, if I can get nine stone, then I'll have enough to... Um, make a furnace and have indefinite coal and torches. Therefore. Whoa! Hey, buddy. Do I have 12 string? Not yet. Just a little bit more. And I'll have enough for my, uh... I don't need that. I want some flint. For any arrows that I might be able to make or something. Okay, I want this to keep going until it hits... Oh, jeez, that scared the crap out of me. But that comes out quite nicely. And also, I'm sure this was intentional. Coming out so close to the uh, the bottom there. I don't need a gunpowder right now, but I'm gonna need all these blocks. Let's uh... we can leave that pumpkin there actually. It does a nice job of um... something something something. Nope. Oh, oh geez. Oh geez. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, how did I get down here? And whoop, back up from that, so we don't get shot. Right, he said he suggests we go left first. So what I, oh, what I will do is seal off this way. And I don't have a sign that I can put exactly. Uh... Oh. Your death awaits you. That's a grim sign. Let's break it down. And put... There we go. I tried to put an exclamation point at the end of that, but it didn't work so well. Um... We will have some natural lighting here when it's daytime, but... We don't really want natural lighting there when it's daytime. I would I would rather close that up entirely, um, but that would require having a lot of stone on me, or a lot of sandstone on me at least, and uh, I don't have that right now. So we will be dealing with that later. There we go. Waste all our light. I just want to make sure that our home here is safe. And I don't think anything can spawn in here. Do we have enough? We don't have enough string yet. I can get one from this. Here we go. Alright. Now we have enough string to make a bed. So we can reset our spawn. Which is the important part, really. Uh, at least for this episode. Let's put our crafting bench over here. And we still don't have enough stone, but let's put this next to it and put things like that, that, those are mushrooms for right now. Uh, let's just throw everything in here. Uh, that can stay in there. Let's see, we now have enough of these that we don't need to keep the wooden tools on us. We'll keep them in here just in case. Well, that, that wooden pickaxe is actually almost dead, so we'll just take that with us and use it up. Um, that can stay in here. 
I'm going to need the wood, actually. So here we go. And let's make three wool. Again, no using the, the wool for the wool monument, because that's cheating. I can only sleep at night, and it's not nighttime. Of course it's not. It's just morning. All right. Well, uh, let's put that back in there and grab some of this out again. We'll probably be using lava as our light source for a while, um, because we have access to some out there. So, but this is the end of this episode. So, uh, yeah, well, we didn't get a whole lot done, but we got down. We've got some blocks in here. Um, did I drop one piece of wood earlier? Because now I want that back. Um, well, let's grab the rest of this stuff. The other bucket. I don't know why that stuff would be useful. But, uh, like dead bush, that's not useful. At all, even. Um, you know, I don't even like paintings. I prefer my walls bare. And you know what? This is a free chest that I can take. And actually, so is this one. I may not like paintings, but I'd rather have them than... and have a chest than not, you know? Um, okay, let's get these out. Put that there, and that there. And now, again, we have a bunch of stuff. That stuff is crap, 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 crap. Uh, just put those in there. I don't really know why I'd want the flint and steel, so I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, no need to waste it, you know? I will make myself some armor, not that it'll last very long, but... Alright. And some boots. Put the leather back. Put the armor on. And we are ready to go. Uh, unfortunately, we'll have to go next episode. But, oh well. That's okay. It's not too bad. Um, I don't have to wait. You guys have to wait. But <laughs> I'll probably end up uploading them at the same time anyway. I'm going to try to upload the last series that I was doing, which is the Spellbound Caves, uh, before I do this, and I will be uploading them several times a day, so no need to worry about that. Uh, it should be up soon, um, because I want to get started on this, because this should be fun. So, uh, yeah, this is episode one, and that's not going to break by itself, is it? Okay, so this was episode one, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.